Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Irene. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Jacques, is it true that for each human cell in a person there are at least 10 bacterial cells? You know, that's an often cited estimate from the early 70s. That was made by multiplying the estimated density of 10 to the 11 bacteria per gram of wet content times the total estimated volume of the intestinal tract. However, the density is not so high in regions other than the colon. So a more recent recalculation that took this into consideration estimated that this number should be closer to 10 to 13 down from 10 to 15. You know, that's about two orders of magnitude. Furthermore, the number of human cells has also been revised. The initial range, estimated between 10 to the 12 and 10 to the 14 cells, was calculated by dividing the hypothetical mass of a man by the mass of a representative mammalian cell. The most recent calculation was done with a more detailed set of data that included results of DNA analyses and MRIs to recalculate the cell numbers and organ size. Through this approach, the authors estimated that there are about 10 to the 13 cells in an average person that weighs 70 kilograms. This, this brings the bacterial to human cells ratio down to 1 to 1. Of course, this ratio is an estimate and it will be highly variable between individuals. Recent studies are reporting how important these microbes are for our health. However, the mechanisms or the causes of these correlations are still unclear. What we do know is that the gut bacteria and hominids co-evolved. In a recent study, Mueller and co-workers tested the hypothesis that the gut bacteria in present-day humans are descended from ancestral bacterial symbionts. They used amplicon sequencing to amplify a variable region of the DNA gyrus gene, subunit B, from bacteria obtained from fecal samples from humans, chimpanzees, bonobos, and gorillas. They targeted three prominent families in the gut microbiome, Bifidobacteriaceae, Bacteriaceae, and Lactospiraceae. They observed that phylogenetic relationship among the Bacteriaceae and the Bifidobacteriaceae mirror the relationship between humans and the great apes. However, it was not true for the Lachnospiraceae. This may enhance their ability to disperse and hence transfer between species. Keep that in mind if you've got pets. But enough for today. We would love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you would like us to discuss. To subscribe to our Simon channel, watch more episodes, or get more information, click on the boxes on your screen. Until next time, bye. Bye.